Hello viewers, in this video I will work out question 21 from a 2021 grade 12 internal math paper 1. So this question is on linear programming and it reads write three inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. So this is our diagram here. So what's on the diagram is that the region R is bounded by three lines. The first line is the vertical line passing through at t, x equal to 2 here. Then we've got a slanted line passing through two points, 0, 0,8 and 6,4. Then another slanted line passing through at 2,0 and 6,4. So we're going to start with uh, determining the inequality for the vertical line which is passing through at x equal to 2. So if you've noticed here, the shaded part is on the left side and the unshaded represented by R is on the right side so for values if you talk of values on the left side we're talking about values that are less than two and on the right side of the line we're talking about values of x that are greater than two and if you notice the nature of the line the nature of the line drawn at x equal to two is a dotted line so for a dotted line what that means is that the points on the line are not part of the solution so then to describe the unshaded region r this just means that we're talking about values of x that are greater than 2 so points on the line are not part of the solution so for that we use the sign greater than so we write the first inequality that we're getting so for the first one we're saying for the first one this is just going to be x is greater than 2. So that will be our inequality 1. Okay, let's work out another inequality, which we are going to call inequality 2. So the other inequality, we can get it from this line, which is passing through at t, 0, 8 and 6,4. So now for this one, we'll determine its gradient first of all and also the equation of the line. Then we're going to come up with the inequality that is defined by the unshaded region R. So for that, we're going to use the points given. So the points given are 0, 0,8 and 6,4. So, we're going to denote this one as x1, then this one as y1, this one as x2, this one as y2. And gradient is determined by the equation m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All this is equal to, if we substitute on y2, we're going to have 4, so 4 take away. 8, which is y1, then everything over x2, we're going to have 6, take away 0. Then this is going to give us m is equal to 4, take away 8, that's a negative 4, over 6, take away 0, that's a 6. We look for a number that can go into negative 4 and 6, that's a 2, so 2 into 4, 2, and 2 into 6, 3, so... Our m is equal to negative 2 over 3. Then, after determining m, we determine the equation by using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m, open bracket, x minus x1. So, on y1, and x1, we're going to use the, the coordinate 0, 0,8. And on gradient, we're going to use negative 2 over 3. So we're going to write y minus 
y1 is 8, so 8 equal to, on gradient we're saying it's negative 2 over 3, open bracket, x minus, on x1 there's a 0, so we substitute 0. Then we write y minus 8 equal to, on the right side we multiply negative 2 over 3 times x gives negative 2 over 3 x. Then negative 2 over 3 times 0, that is just 0. So meaning we just have to move 8 to the right. So this gives y equal to negative 2 over 3 x plus 8. So this is the equation of the line passing through at 0, 0, 0,8 and 6,4. Now, what would be the inequality? So in place of uh, equal sign, what are we going to put there? What sign is going to work for the unshaded region R? So for the unshaded region R, we've seen that this is a region that is below the line. And uh, if you notice the nature of the line, it's a solid line. So meaning that we're going to apply equal to. So the sign that we're going to use to represent the unshaded region R will be y is less than or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 8. So this is because the region that we're looking at is below the line and points on the line are part of the solution. So our inequality 2 is going to have the following y is less or equal to negative 2 over 3 x plus 8 so this is our inequality 2 we can test for this to check if it's true so testing will mean that we have to pick a point we can test to see if it's true. So now for testing, we'll pick a point that is below the line. So this means that we're testing for less than and not equal to. So when writing, we're going to write y is less than negative 2 over 3x plus 8. So for our test. So this is because we are looking at it. Uh, the points that are below the line to see if our statement is true and for this we'll just use this point because this point is below the line so we'll use 2 comma 0 for that so using 2 comma 0 and also the inequality y less than negative 2 3 x plus 8 2 comma 0 so using the point 2 comma 0 what is this going to give us? Is it true or false? So y here is 0 and x is 2. So we say 0 less than negative 2 over 3 times 2 then plus 8. Now working this out on the right side. So we maintain the left side. So this will give us negative 2 times 2. This gives negative 4 over 3 then plus 8. So introduce over 1. Uh, let's just say equal to here to work out this part. So our common denominator is 3. So 3. What is 3 into 3? That is uh, 1. 1 times negative 4 gives negative 4 plus. 1 into 3 is 3. 3 times 8. That's 24. In 0 is less than negative 4 plus 24 that's a 20 and over 3 so is 0 less than 20 over 3 yes 0 is less than 20 over 3 so this statement is true and if it is true what that means is then our inequality is also true so y is less than or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 8 represents the region r which is unshaded for this line where it is passing through the point 0, 0,8 and 6, 4. 
So now we go to this third line, passing through two comma zero and six comma four. So the same process we worked out on this line is the same process we're going to use even on this line. So we'll start with finding the gradient of the point two comma zero and six comma four, then get the equation. Then after the equation, we come up with the inequality and we'll test the inequality to see if it's true or not true. So the point two comma zero and six comma four. So what is the gradient of these two points? So the gradient will be m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we are going to denote this as y2, x2, y1, x1. And then determine gradient. So we'll just substitute here. Substituting gives m equal to on y2 we're saying it's 4 then y1 0 over on x2 it is 6 then take away 2 what does this give this gives a 4 here and 6 take away 2 gives a 4 so m is equal to 4 into 4 that's 1 so that is our gradient of the line so now let's determine the equation by using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 now for this one we'll use the point 2 comma 0 so y is 0 x is 2 so on y1 we put 0, so y minus 0 equal to, our gradient is 1, so we put 1 here, open bracket, x, or next one, there's a 2, so 2. So y take away 0 is just y equal to 1 times x is x, and 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So we're getting the equation y equal to x minus 2. So now, what will be the inequality for this line, which is represented by the equation y equal to x minus 2? So if we've taken note of the nature of the line, the nature of the line is a solid line. So it means we're going to apply equal to. But then we're looking at a region, R, which is unshaded, and it's above the line. So we are going to use the sign y is greater or equal to x minus 2 to represent the unshaded region r. So we are using the sign y is greater or equal to x minus 2. So in place of equal sign, we put greater or equal to so let's test for this now remember also on this one when testing we're not testing for equal to because equal to means points on the line so we should test for greater so for greater what points are greater the points that we can identify that is greater is this point here so it's above the line, so 0, 0,8. So we we'll use 0, 0,8 to test. And also the inequality will be y is greater than x minus 2 using the point 0, 0,8. So using this point, what we'll just do is substitute. Here, this is x, this is y. So on y, we put 8, then greater than on x we put 0 minus to this side and then is this true 0 take away 2 so 0 take away 2 gives a negative 2 so is 8 greater than negative 2 yes 8 is greater than 
negative 2. So this means that the inequality that we've come up with here is true. It is defined in the region R, which is the unshaded. So inequality 3. So this is the third inequality that we're getting. So now this means that to conclude the question, we just have to write down the inequalities that we've gotten. The first one we got is x is better than 2. Then the second one is y is less or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 8. And then the third one is y is greater or equal to x minus 2. So for our conclusion, we're just going to write this. x is greater than 2. That's our inequality. 1. Then inequality 2, we said that this is y less or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 8. So this is inequality 2. Then inequality 3, y is greater or equal to x minus 2. Inequality Three. So these are the three inequalities for this question or that are defining the unshaded region R. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out the solution to my next question which is question 22.